Hey guys, what's up? It's Nugget Soups here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, a deck. It's uh, Ar Arabellum GBs, I guess you could call it. Um, this is not the deck of the month. Uh, this is this is this is even my deck. Uh, this is a deck that my dad's going to be running at um, our regional next Saturday. And um, yesterday we bought some starter decks, so we got two Arabellums out of that, and. Um, we've been just kind of messing around with like Arabellum and a GB deck and it's been working really really well and uh, Basically because when, when, you, when you play against GBs, you don't really want to commit to the field that much because they'll be sherry Whatever you said if, if it's a bluff or they'll mermelo your monsters but basically if but Then if they don't commit to the field then you can X saber them and make them discard cards so basically you're going to be able to control the field and hand with this deck. And that's why I like it a lot. Um, so, I, uh, and it's still in testing. And, I mean, it's it's not finalized by any means. And, like, some of the quantities of some cards might change a little bit. But, um, yeah. So, here's the deck. Alright, so. Alright. So, two Laquaries. Um even you still run two of these even though it's not a regular gb build uh they just beat and uh yeah two sam knights uh you bring these out off of rescue cat and usually off rescue cat you want to get one sam knight and then one air bomb because you can attack sam knight attack with air bomb tag out sam knight for like bestiary and singer on a seven so yeah sam knight's not really good by himself but rescue cat makes him good Hoplomus. Uh, I still like to run one of these because of its big defense, and you'll force uh, people, like basically people will attack into it, and they'll have to use some form of removal. So like if you're playing its black wings, they'll probably have to uh, collude it, or if you're playing its light sworn, they'll have to honest it, because if not, then you can switch out for something else. That's why I like Capulmus. Um A cast, just one a cast, not two, because it's not. Uh, uh, like a normal GB build, but this still get th this helps get back cards. Like if you go Sam Knight, Air Bellum off Rescue Cat, you could attack uh, attack with the Sam Knight, tag out for this, get a card back, and then Synchro. So I like a kiss. Uh, Beast Cherry, um, really good card still. Uh, blows up a back row, so attack Sam Knight, tag out, blow up a back row, Synchro into seven, like Dark Shake or something. So yeah. Uh, Mermelo kills monsters. Darius, uh, this helps with Synchro Summoning, like, because you can Darius bring back a monster, and then Synchro Summon the negated monster and Air Bellum into something, because the monster being off of him is negated, so he kind of helps um, get you more advantage and then Synchro, so yeah. Um, I still like running one Prisma, just because Prisma Test Tiger is just an amazing play, and it destroys uh, Black Wings and Light Horn, so I'm still going to run one Prisma, I think. Um... Three test tigers. Uh, you still run these. You can get off rescue cat. Um, speeds up the deck. Two rescue cats let you get test tiger, air bomb, or sam knight from your deck instantly to the field. It's really good. Uh, two summoner monks. Uh, these I just added in recently. I didn't really think about it, but then I was like, oh yeah, summoner monk. That helps the deck. Uh, basically, drop it. You have to when you normal summon or special summon it. Uh, uh, no, it's when you normal summon or flip summon it. Uh, it, uh, it automatically goes to D. It's got 16 defense. Discard a spell to get any 4-star from your deck to the field, but it can't attack that turn. So it doesn't really matter if, if you get Rescue Cat, because each Rescue Cat, Tribute, Get, whatever. And then you can and you can use Summoner Monk. Go on Arcanite with Arabellum, because Summoner Monk's a spellcaster. So being a spellcaster really helps. And then finally, two Arabellums. Um, I don't think I... I don't think... I would want to put three in the deck, even if I had three, just because it's still GBs. Uh, there's still a lot of GB cards in it, so I don't, I don't think I'd like to run three. But yeah, two air bombs. Uh, when it does direct battle damage, um, you can discard a card from your opponent's hand, so obviously very good. And it's uh, 1,600, three stars, there's a beast and a tuner. So this is out of the new starter deck, so yeah. All right, next, the uh, three cold wave. Um, basically... Um, my dad's hoping not to play much Light Sworn at, at the regional, or else he'll just flat out lose. But Sinker Cat's running three Cold Waves, and so I figured three Cold Waves can't be too bad. Um, it's obviously good with Rescue Cat or someone because you can Cold Wave. 
Hopefully they have no monsters, and you can just summon Monk, discard a card, rescue cat, and then you can go um, Arcanite or Dark Strike Fighter or whatever you want. So Cold Waves, very good. Uh, two Book of Moons. Uh, I haven't I haven't felt the need to put in three yet, but I might at some point. Uh, just because Book of Moon upon like a activation is a minus one, but usually you're gonna kill the monster after you book it. But say during your opponent's turn, you book that monster and they attack, and then if they have some, for like, if they're like a mirror force or something, then you just minus one yourself, because then they can reflip their monster, and, uh, that's why I don't think three is all that needed, so, yeah. Um, Heavy Storm, Staple, uh, Smashing Ground, I like it to get rid of big synchros and stuff, so, yeah, I think, I think Smashing's good in, like, every deck right now. Uh, Monster Born, Staple, Mystical Staple... Uh, brain control you normally wouldn't run in the regular GG builds, but because you run Air Bell and, and the deck's more inclined to OTK than the regular GG builds, uh, you run brain control. Uh, three Solemns, uh, negate stuff. Uh, I, the also good thing about this deck is that it has speed and control in like the same deck. This is obviously one of your big control cards. And then you can have a lot of speed with a Rescue Cat and Summon a Monk. So yeah, uh, two Mind Crush. Uh, I think these are really good in any GB deck where you're running the Synchro version or just the regular version because it utterly destroys Lightsworn because uh, they charge, they get Lumina, then you say, oh, mine crush Lumina, then they lose their Lumina. And then it gets Black Wings off a of Black Whirlwind. Um, then they search for Gale or something, you can mine crush their Gale before they can Synchro. So mine crush is really good. Um, next, two Wabaku. This obviously combos well with the GBs because, you know, someone attacks a big monster, you play Wabaku. Flip over GP, tag out, whatever. Uh, but also it helps against all the OTKs that are out there right now because Synchro Cat's probably going to be big. Black Wings have a lot of tendency to OTK instead of Light Swarm. So Wabaku, I think, is a good card to main. Uh, two Chariots. Uh, this is part of the part of the control of the deck. Uh, you can recycle it with a cast, negate an effect of a monster. Very good. So, yeah. Um, two Bottomless Control. Um, stops a big plays. And helps when they go black roll and summon something like Bora. Then you can bottomless it, and then next turn you can tag on to Bestiary and kill their black roll one. So it puts you in a pretty good position. Um, and then lastly, Mirror Force. Um, it kills all monsters in attack mode. Very good. Okay. Alright, and then now I'm just going to do quickly the Synchro deck. Uh, I figured I'd just show it for whatever. Um, so three guys are us. Uh, these help. Uh, gain back field control, and it's still one of the better cards in all of Yu Gi Oh! Just because you just kill two cards, swing, tag up to two, so yeah. Uh, two Heraclinos, this is part of the control too. Uh, you can bring this guy out pretty easily because of Summoner Monk or Rescue Cat and stuff. So yeah, Herc, discard card and get his blow trap. Yeah. Uh, one Android, Goyo. Uh, Swift Gaia, just because it gets over Stardust, and that could sometimes be a problem. But now, also a good thing about this deck is that now GB, uh, like, since it's got the tuners in it, uh, the, the GB deck doesn't have such a hard time getting over Stardust, because you can just tune into something and run over Stardust. So, also that's another reason why I like this deck, because Stardust used to, like, just, just destroy GB decks, which is why they weren't good during the Teledad format. But now, since you run tuners, you can, uh, synchro into stuff and not have to worry about it. So... This is just a six. Uh, you can synchro it with like Mermelo. You can synchro like Air Bell and like Mermelo, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, Arcanite Magician. Uh, just one right now because you run two Summoner Monks. Those are your only spell casters, but still a uh, very good card. Remove two spell counters, destroy two cards. So, yeah. Uh, two Dark Strike Fighters. Uh, obviously, if you drop two of these, attack directly with both and launch themselves for game, exactly. So. Um, it's very broken, and uh, you get, you get you usually want to go for this guy the majority of the time when you synchro. Uh, X Saber Urbellum. Um, there's nothing really better to run right now, and then GBX should I? So I'd figured I'd run it. Um, basically, when it does um, b battle damage, your opponent has four more cards in their hand. You get to pick one and put it on top of their deck, so that's pretty good. Um, Black Rose, Bolt to Field, Colossal, good against Light Sworn and Black Wings, and then one Stardust. So yeah. Uh, that's, that's the deck, and deck of the month will be after regional, which will be my deck, which I still haven't said what it is, and, um, yeah, that's it, oh yeah, shouts out to 5designer, 
or design. I don't really know how to say his name, but he asked for one a while ago, so there it is. So yeah, <laughs> later.